First National Bank Shock Branch fell victim to robbers on Wednesday evening. According to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, on Wednesday at 8.30 p.m., the Criminal Investigation Department in Castries and the Special Service Unit responded to a report of a robbery at the First National Bank Shock Branch. Preliminary investigations revealed that masked individuals confronted bank employees at gunpoint and eventually made away with an undisclosed amount of cash. At this juncture, no physical injuries have been reported. Several customers who were unaware of the closure had to be redirected to other branches to utilize the ATM or other services. A customer who was supposed to be picking up a checkbook was distraught after learning of the robbery and not being able to carry out his business. I just shocked because, I mean, it's a long time nothing swear happened. As far as I could remember, by just walking in and I hoping I seen well there are people there so. I see one, two people, I say, well, probably I'll go get out fast. But then you're telling me it's a story about somebody robbed the bank, but the person passed by. Should I have an inside job? I don't know, you know, I'm just asking questions. Is that an inside job? Another customer says the crime on island has gone to a whole new level. Well, it's a very sad situation. I find the youth need to do better with themselves because real injury, I don't think it's people of the age of 40 to 60. The youth has been all these things. I don't know if it's unemployment. I do not know if it's idle hands, but they need to do something with themselves. That's not good at all. It's a very, how can I say, it's embarrassing for us as a society to see that the level of crime in what we've reduced to, that we reach a state that we're in America where they come and rob a bank. Now for me, that's completely foolish. We're in a small island. What do you all expect to happen? This customer says that he prefers the shock branch as the location is convenient for him. However, he says that this is the first time he has not been able to use the ATM at that branch. This is really bad, you know, and it's high time the government start doing something about that because I think or I feel they can do a lot better than that. And this, more than anything, needs to be addressed. According to police, no suspects are in custody. However, the RSLPF is actively pursuing leads related to this incident. Reporters waited for hours outside of the bank but were not given any comment on the situation from officials inside. At the time of filing this report, the bank has not issued an official statement on the matter. For the DBS Newsworld, Miriam Montoot reporting.